Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review, Stock Auction Daily Review for November 19th, 2018. I'm Scott Patton, your co-host, along with Coach Rob. Coach Rob, we're going to take a look at Monday, November 19th. Was it a was it a day where you could make a little bit of money trading? Absolutely was. Strong red day. I'll share my screen with you real quick. We start going to the replay simulator. Fast forward all the way to the end of the day, and you can see Scott right here very clearly. If, even if you don't know anything about charts, this was a big time red day. There's not very much green at all. So a couple of trades I want to highlight on this day. First of all, let's go back to one minute candles, and we'll just zoom that replay timer all the way back to about 10 a.m. And Adobe had a strong move down along with the rest of the market. And you can see right around mm, 952, 953-ish, we were looking at Adobe having a strong red move with signal, tint, nice, good candles, pretty good volume. Uh, it had some uh, a good trend line, a quick trend line. And what would have gotten me into this trade would have been Adobe breaking this support line, which was a pretty important price. And you could see it cascaded all the way down to the next line of support. So in between those two support lines, that's what we coach our students to pay attention to. Uh, those are just sticking points, you know, historical sticking points. So uh, there's a lot of uh, room to run there, as we say. So if I back up all the way to, let's call it 9.53, and we'll just we'll get in we'll get in right when it breaks that support line. We'll see what happens. You can see these uh, uh, in the Day Trader Genius software. These little blue fellows right here are filters coming on. So that's just the software alerting me that there's something powerful happening. In addition to my scan of seeing the uh, support line being broken. So we'll bring over our our uh, put buying apparatus in the uh, simulator and we bought it. it if you're wondering why uh, folks out there if you're wondering why it automatically gives you minus one percent as soon as you buy it's because it calculates the commissions for you so we'll see what we end up with as we progress a little bit of stagnation and there within two minutes scott you've got 12 percent and as it charges down towards that other support line i mentioned you could make as high as 23 percent in profits Beautiful. That's not too bad. And, and how many, <laughs> what is that, like four minutes, three minutes? Well, let's close and we'll bring up the trade summary. We'll see what Adobe got us. 952 to 956. Yep. So about four minutes, 23%. I mean, that's that's a home run move right there. And, you know, it's funny because before we got together, I was thinking about our our recording and I thought, you know, and I was just thinking, you, know, you can't hit a home run if you're not at bat. Like if you're not playing the game, then you're not going to be able to take advantage of the opportunities when they come. And the other analogy I was thinking about was fishing. You know, this guy stand in the field. In the field, you can tell I'm a prairie boy. They stand in the stream, you know, and they set out the line and they set out the line, and uh, you know, then they catch the big fish, right? And it may take them a shorter period of time to catch the big fish than it took them waiting for the opportunity to show up. And you got to wait for the right pitch. You got to wait for the right fish, right? That's right. And you know, we're, this is all in the practice simulator. So all those batters uh, swinging at baseballs, all those fishermen, they didn't hit home runs on their first try, right? So no. you have to keep working at it and study, look for trends like this in replay, so you can catch them in the live market. Yeah, and that's the beauty of the software is is that you're able to re to replay. Like you said, you're able to go back and look at all sorts of days. I think three or four or five or six years worth of data and then practice in different markets so that you when you when it becomes time and that's what all the sports people will tell you you know you have one football game but you have five days of practice and it's so important that you hone your skills big time and and making the most out of the, the time that you do practice so and exactly. that's where coaching you know coaching can help you we just you know, anybody could practice on their own just by purchasing the software, but we'll show you the most productive way to practice and, and to develop your strategy to transition to the live market. Right. 
practices a day. Yeah, practice makes perfect is wrong. It's perfect practice makes perfect. Fair point. So was there another opportunity this day? You're, you're, you're ahead of me. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, about noontime because in the 11, late in the 11 o'clock hour, we had a nice move by IWM. And let me just pull that up from the list. Bear with me. Okay, here she is. All right, again, it was a big red day. Remember we looked at the basket at the beginning. So it's no surprise that for IWM, we're gonna buy a, a put uh, as well. And I'm looking at right around here where it's, where it's flirting with that previous low. So stocks, and, and in this case, an, an index, which is IWM, the Russell 2000, they tend to behave or have strong moves around previous highs and previous lows, which are just you know historical points that it's, it's reached in, in uh, recent trading days. So sometimes they'll bounce off of a previous high or previous low. Sometimes they'll just plunge once they, once they break that point. In this case, IWM, you can see earlier in the day, flirted with that previous low, bounced off. And this time it has some steam and some volume coming on, as well as signal, K-band, trend line, uh, and J-stop. So you got the big five and they are pushing IWM south down past that previous low. And uh, I guess the, the point at which I would buy would probably be hmm, in this, you can see it had some resistance, about two candles in. I would say right around this time frame. Let's back up a little bit. These are five-minute candles, guys, and so uh, that's that's probably it. That's probably where I would I would say to get in. So let's bring over the option buying piece of software and see where we get three percent. 2%, now we're at 10%. And this is where I would, I would be getting out because it's a little bit hard to see it's down at the bottom, but we've got one of those support lines that I talked about on the last trade. And that's that's it, we got a big volume spike. So all the indications, and this is what I would coach any student to do is, a when you're looking for exit signals, sometimes it's it's a little bit you know better to get out a, a tick early than a tick late because a lot of times these are these are big turnarounds and the trend will start going against you. So let's just close it out right now and bring up the results there. So that was our Adobe trade. So we had IWM just shy of 10%, but we'll round it up. But uh, that was within five minutes. Uh, nice. And, five minutes, 10%. <laughs> if you know what you're looking for. Yeah, that's affirmative. Oh. And I am, I have to say, I'm always a little curious. If you went oh. a couple more ticks, would yeah. it have turned around or would it have continued? And of course, in, in live trading, you don't really care. But since we have the ability, let's let's take a peek. We'll see what happened. It did go down a little bit more. And then it started to turn around. So, so had yeah. a little bit more, more energy. But we took our 10%. And, you know, if if the market is showing you, if the stock is showing you that, through some market support, like this 89 here, the big red sun, a lot of indicators that might've kept you in this trade. For me, I'll take that 10% and run and, uh, and be happy with it uh, because yeah. it's just a little bit higher risk to stay in. That's right. And we don't want to risk our capital if we don't have to, right? Exactly, yeah. It's not, it's not worth worthwhile to do so. And uh, we had another one, actually, we're about the time frame that I wanted to look at the final trade for this day, which would have been Tesla. So let's just fast forward about 10 minutes and see what Tesla was doing. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> and she's she's breaking out again, big red day, Scott uh, and, and guys out there. So we're looking at puts for the most part when the market looks like this. And Tesla was breaking out nicely from the risk zone right here. This orange area is the risk zone. It just, it's, it's got some, some, crazy space math behind it that you don't really need to understand. Just, you know, if the, if the candle is within this orange area, we're looking at high risk. So once it clears that area, uh, it can have a powerful move one way or the other with a little bit decreased risk. So 
this is exactly the setup that I like to trade personally. And it had a little bit of room to run before with a, a little bit of RA, uh, some resistance there uh, acting as support. So let's back it up. We'll go to about that 1210 time frame when it's breaking out. Not, nope, still in the risk zone. So right there, it's showing me a breakout. So let me jump in with the put there and we'll just fast forward a little bit, see what we can get. Already 5% in one minute. It's, it's pretty darn good and it's up. There's, there's that single you were talking about and it's retracting. So you get a little bit of flutter. And as we progress one minute at a time, that's yeah, still holding. And there we got our 9%. So 9%, well, like, like we said, we might round up to 10 and you got that resistance line there. But in this case, let's, we've got a pretty strong red market and we can see what you'd like to see is, let's look at the future since we're in the simulator here and it's, it's breaking down pretty nicely. So with volume breaking through that support line, at this point, you're already committed. So you can either take your profits and run, or you, you know, you can just kind of, as they say, we don't, we don't, we're not gambling, but they say play with house money and <laughs> uh, just see where it goes. And it's cascading down. I mean, if I, Scott, if personally, when I'm trading, if I see in something in the twenties, I, I mean, that is that grand slam we were talking about. Yeah, take your money and run. <laughs> yeah, and we can see where, it, and yeah, it hit that Y point. And maybe later in the day it would have now it bounced out. Yep. It flirted with it again. And yeah. that's that's another point right there for exit is opening price. A lot of times um, things will turn around at the opening price. Perfect. Awesome. So how did we do today? Well, let's see. Got our three trades. You see the results there. 23, 9.7, and 22% all within four, five, eight minutes. And all within about a two hour period. Yeah, yeah, um, maybe three, uh, yeah, two and a half, yeah. Two and a half, yeah, good. So that's a pretty nice day. That's a lot better than uh, working nine hours and having two hours in, a, in, in traffic in a commute. And having to sit through meetings and listen to a boss. <laughs> and sit yeah. to a boss or, or listen to customer complaints. Yeah. And on it. Awesome. Well, great job, Coach Rob. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us, everybody. This has been the Day Trader Genius uh, Stock Option Daily Review for November 19th, 2018. We have a link uh, below if you're interested in knowing more about the software. And Coach Rob would be delighted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough. That's right. And I'm available anytime. <laughs>